today we're making pasta salad. So basically this recipe was um, created because of all the questions I've been getting about um, making things with what we have. Obviously we're not going to the store as much, so canned items, um, random bits and pieces of things in our fridge, uh, stuff like that is super easy to incorporate into a pasta salad. So um, the idea is whatever you have on hand, um, I posted a long list of things, ingredients you could add. Um, there's a million different ways to make pasta salad, but what I've learned is it's all about the sauce. Oh, uh, <laughs> nice apron. Thank you, she gave this one to me. Um, so yeah, that's the idea. I have ingredients that I just had on hand. I didn't go buy new ones. Um, so we're just gonna kind of make our own versions of this pasta salad. So first, I'm just gonna wash my hands really quick. Um, I guess you don't need to wash. So as usual, if you guys have any questions um, about the food or about anything throughout this whole live, just type it into the comment box and I'll try my best to answer. Um, should be pretty fun. So, I think this is week four of doing these Instagram lives. So that's been fun for me. Um, again, if you guys have any suggestions on things you want to see me make or something you don't have a recipe for that you'd like, just message me. Um, it's the easiest way to get a hold of me. So, all right, I'll show you the ingredients and let's get started. So this is what I'm using. Like I said, you can use whatever you have in your kitchen. Um, I'll give you some um, options as we go. So I have some carrots. These are some green onions, half an English cucumber, and I have some cherry tomatoes that are so good. They're really sweet. Some cheddar cheese, salami, um, corn, and sliced olives. Okay, and then obviously the cooked pasta that has been cooling, and then I have all the ingredients to make the dressing. So we have olive oil, apple cider vinegar. Um, you can also use lemon juice if you don't have this. Any kind of acid, um, honey, salt, pepper, Dijon mustard, this is my favorite, I use it in everything, and then garlic, since I don't have any fresh garlic left. So, all right. Oh, hi. Hi, Kenna. All right, let's get started. So I also have a big bowl. Um, I have a smaller bowl to mix my dressing in and some measuring cups. So let's start with making the dressing. We have a fourth a cup of olive oil. You can also use avocado oil, um, whatever you have. It's gonna take a while to come out. <laughs> All right. And you're gonna wanna have a whisk um, on hand because the Dijon mustard needs to get it broken up. So a fourth a cup of olive oil. In that goes. And then we have three tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. So again, like I said, if you only have, um, or if you don't have this, you can use lemon juice or even red wine vinegar, white wine vinegar. Um, you just want it to have a little bit of zing. So three tablespoons. All right. And then we're gonna add a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just get it all in there. We have a tablespoon of honey. You can also just put a little bit, maybe like a teaspoon of sugar if you don't have honey. Um, agave would work. What else? Just a little bit of sweetness is always good in a salad dressing. Um, I also use this uh, salad dressing for regular salads. So on any kind of mix, mixed greens or spinach, um, it's really, really good. I'm gonna post it in a separate for its own recipe soon. Just haven't gotten to it yet. But now you have a little sneak peek of it. Let's see. Did you watch the replay of the gold medal game? Ugh, no, I wish I did. My, it was on last night and my sister had texted me, but I don't have cable, so I couldn't watch it without streaming it. Um, 
But I've been watching all the recaps, which just give me the chills. Alright, so I have um, one teaspoon of this minced garlic, so it's equal to two cloves. I'll put that in there. And then I'm going to add about a fourth, or no, like a half a teaspoon of salt and then a fourth a teaspoon of pepper. Um, I'm not going to measure it, just kind of throw it in there. With salt and pepper, especially in something like a salad where you can taste it as you go, um, I would start light and then you can always add more later. The last thing you want to do is add a ton of salt or pepper and then have it be too salty at the end. So always key to taste your food as you go if you can, if it's safe. All right, so that is the dressing. You're just going to whisk it together and then we'll put it aside as we assemble the remaining ingredients. So the oil and the rest of the ingredients are going to want to stay separated, so you just want to whisk it until they're as combined as you can. And that is it. We'll set this aside and then stir it up once we're ready to pour it on the pasta. So now we're going to create or we're going to prep the rest of our ingredients. So let's see. First we will chop up this beautiful cucumber. So I actually have a vegetable peeler here. A good trick I learned about um, cucumbers is obviously you can eat the like the skin or rind, I don't know what it's called. But if you use a vegetable vegetable peeler and make like little stripes, it makes it really pretty in the salad when you cut them up. Or you if you don't like the skin, you can just peel all of it off. It's up to you, but I always think it looks cute with the stripes. So cut off the end. I'm going to cut this in half like this and then cut both of these pieces in half again and then cut them into little triangles like this. So one thing about salads, or actually here, I'm going to put my pasta in there as the base. So I cooked some pasta. When I went to the store last week, only this tri-colored pasta was available, but it's pretty, so it'll be good. Um, but one thing about when you're making salads especially, you want everything to be similar size. Um, so when you cut up your veggies or whatever filling you're putting in it, you want um, all of it to kind of be uniform so that you can get each piece in the same bite. So like you don't want a small noodle and like a huge piece of cucumber. Um, so I'm just going to add these in as I cut them. I'm only using half the cucumber. You can use a whole one. Honestly, whatever you have on hand. Um, I also suggested bell peppers would be really good in this. Um, what else? Garbanzo beans, kidney beans. Um, any kind of deli meat you have. I have salami, but turkey, chicken, ham would be good. Honestly, it's whatever you like. Hi, Christina. Okay, so the cucumbers are in. Now we're gonna chop our cherry tomatoes in half. Um, you can use regular Roma tomatoes, whatever you have. What else would be good in this? Um, so I'm using black olives. You can use green olives. You can chop up spinach and put it in there. But seriously, there's so many different ways to make this and it's all about the dressing. So you can put that dressing on just about anything and it'll taste good. So that's the plan. Um, for those of you who don't know, last night they were replaying the um, gold medal game from the Rio Olympics of the US USA women's water polo team. So they won and it was, I was there. It was like the coolest game ever. Um, but they replayed it last night. So a lot of the water polo community was watching. Fun to relive that. First live, welcome. This takes a little bit of time, so bear with me. These tomatoes also add a really pretty color to the salad. And, all right, last one. So now we have our 
tomatoes. Did I get to try on the metal? Yes, I did. So actually, you guys probably don't know. My older sister was on the team, so I've got to hold it, wear it, run around my house with it. That thing's everywhere. So, okay, now we have our carrots. I already peeled these and washed them. Um, another trick to make your salad look extra pretty, instead of just chopping up carrots, I like to um, use a vegetable peeler and peel them so they're nice little ribbons in the salad. It's easier, I feel like, to eat than trying to stab a little piece of carrot with your fork. Um, maybe that's just me. So I'm gonna put some carrot ribbons in here. probably only do like two carrots and if you don't have a vegetable vegetable peeler like this you can obviously just cut these up into similar size pieces as the rest of the veggies whoa oh, it flew over there okay and yeah, we'll do one more just because I have it oh my gosh these carrots are flying everywhere <laughs> what the heck hate so yeah you know when you eat a salad and then at the bottom of the salad is just all the carrots because you can't stab them it's so difficult okay hmm. so now we have those pretty carrot ribbons next i'm gonna chop up these green onions um i had these from my recipe i made the other day i love onions they're literally one of my favorite foods. I put them in everything. My friends make fun of me. So we're just going to chop these up um, into little... These are obviously going to be smaller than the rest, but they're kind of chewy, so you don't want to put huge pieces of these onions in there. And then, actually, I should have explained that. I don't know if you saw, but you always want to cut off the white part, so... You chop it here and then you can eat the dark leafy part. You don't want to eat this. I mean, you probably could, but it probably doesn't taste very good. Those roots, so we're gonna put this in there. They're so pretty. And then I'm gonna add this salami. So I'm just gonna make some thin strips of salami to throw in there. I'm just gonna cut it lengthwise and then once um, width, width wise oh. so I'll show you those once they're done the pasta salad I grew up eating had salami in it so this is what I like but if you don't if you want it to keep it vegetarian you can obviously omit this um, so we're gonna do little ribbons like this throw those in there Okay, a couple more. All right, so the salami is in there. And then I'm gonna cut up some cubes of cheddar cheese. This is also another one that's totally optional um you can also use mozzarella would be really good um pepper jack anything you have I prefer to use a uh, cube cheese rather than shredded though because the shredded kind kind of ends up getting mushy um in the dressing so that's my advice so we're just gonna make little bite-sized pieces um, similar to what is already in there. Let's see, any other questions? Nope. Try not to look at the phone while I'm chopping so I don't cut one of my fingers off. <laughs> that would be fun. Okay. Throw those in there. Bowl's filling up. I'm gonna add last 
lastly, um, about half a can of this corn. Um, nice yellow. Let's see, yeah, I'll probably just use half of that. And then I'm gonna add this entire mini can of sliced olives because I love olives. So this is obviously catered to foods that I enjoy. Um, if you don't like olives, you don't like corn, cheese, all that kind of stuff, you make it your own. You're the one eating it at the end of the day. So I'm gonna move all of this out of the way. And I'm gonna stir this up. And then we will add the sauce and that's it. So this is a really good um, side dish, something obviously after this quarantine is over to take to a potluck. Um, it's very low maintenance, it should keep well. Um, once you pour in the dressing, the longer the ingredients sit in the dressing, the better it tastes. Um, so that is also a plus. Um, you can make it vegetarian, you can make it vegan. Um, it's a good make-ahead meal or like a make-ahead meal prep for lunches. Um, kids like it. So it's a win-win. So I just whisked up the dressing again. I'm going to pour it over. Um, yeah. Why not put it all in there? <laughs> and then um, if you find that the pasta salad is a little bit too dry with all the after you pour in the dressing, um, you can always just add a little bit more olive oil and that should take it all the way. All right, smells good. So there you have it. That is my pantry pasta salad. Um, like I said last time I made a salad, a trick I learned is never stir it in the bowl that you're gonna serve it in because it can, tends to get kind of messy. So I'm gonna put it in a pretty serving bowl. Not all gonna fit, but I can put the rest in the fridge. Just like this. A good snack for the week. Well, I guess it's already Thursday. For the weekend. And there you have it. Pasta salad. So make your own version um, using the sauce. It tastes good on seriously everything. Um, and that's it. A good way to combine your canned items that you've had in your pantry for forever. Just simple noodles, simple sauce, and then whatever fresh veggies you have. So should be fairly easy. Um, again, whatever your preferences are, then you have this nice salad for the rest of the week.